Bless you. That was two, uh, two, and, two and one. I've never had hey, one. you need to have your book open. You, you'll have to put, put this away till we get done. Okay. 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 So rates, ratio, and proportions. We're going to start off with ratios because it goes in with rate, uh, rates here in a second. So ratios. There is a video that I will show you probably tomorrow. And it's just about how, what a ratio would be, what a ratio is. Um, the book says that a ratio compares two qualities using division. Was well, that not like a fraction? In fraction, two quantities using division? Uh -huh. So a ratio and a rate are a whole lot alike. They're a whole lot alike. The thing is, in a, in a fraction, if I gave you three fifths, Okay, so if I gave you a fraction, and then I gave you a ratio, because they can look the exact same. Not too off in one second. So I gave you a fraction three-fifths, and I gave you a ratio three-fifths. I want to know the difference in these two. Well, they're the same thing, Miss Skinner. It's fractions and ratios. They're both dividing. They're both quantities. That's true. But what do we know about a fraction? What does the five represent? You struggling back there? Keep on breaking. What does the five represent? The total amount. The total amount. The total I have to choose from. Here, here's some sharpened ones. Huh? Here's your sharpened one. Put it back in the cups and let somebody else sharpen it. So you're telling me the five represents the total, right? The total amount I have to choose from. So if I were drawing circles, how many circles would I draw? Five, five. five of them bad boys. One, two, three, four, five. So what is three? What is the numerator on this? What does it represent? The amount shaded. The amount shaded, the amount that are blue, the amount that is green, whatever. So the chosen amount. Right? Mm -hmm. So therefore I would have shaded three blue ones. So three out of five. Now, let's look at a ratio. <laughs> Bless you, child. Let's look at a ratio. Ratios are going to be different. They're not just saying five circles and three are shaded because that's just a fraction. Why would we even play anymore? All right, Jackson, what are you thinking? Uh, okay, so the thing is, so you have three chosen for every five things, I guess. Okay. So every single time you have five, you're going to have three shaded. Isn't that right? Well, isn't that what you're saying about here? For every five, you're gonna have three. Well, every three. So if I have ten, I'm gonna have six. Yeah. Well, there's some difference in a ratio. Let me show you this. Seven. 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 Seven if you count me, right? Yes. Okay. 
No, so but what about Caleb? This is a ratio. This is a ratio, 13 to 6. The thing about ratios, there's three ways to write it. You could write it with a semicolon. You could write it as the fraction. Same thing. First child goes where? On top. On top. Whoever is the first is the one who goes on top. Or I could say it's a 13 to 6 ratio. It's a 13 to 6 ratio. Are you writing any of this stuff? Because you don't even have any paper out. Get your paper. Get with us. Why is there always more boy I forgot the boy boy. Well, there's not always, but apparently there was a baby, there was a boy boom during 2009, 2008. Hey. <laughs> I am a boy. Are, Good. Are you, are you really? I don't, want, I don't want to figure that out either. Okay, okay, no. <laughs> All right. So, there is a difference between fractions and ratios. They're not comparing all shapes to stars. They could. It depends on what they're asking. Here I ask boys to girls. I could ask, watch this, all class to girls. I could ask all staff if you have any collection logs to hold them. Miss Janice is not here today. Thank you. I could ask all 6B, I should say all 6B, to girls. It depends on what is being questioned. Well, how many are there of you today? I'm not going to count them. Uh, 19. 19. What'd you do to get that? Uh, I know. So, <laughs> so, so it's 19 to how many girls do we have? Six. Six. How else could I have written that? 19 Most, over six. 19 over six. Or? Then you could just put 19 six. Seven There you go. So it depends on who they're, it's asking. For example, this one wanted everybody. So this would be more of a fraction if it had been written the other way. What if I said girls to all 6B? Would it look like this? No, why not, Jonah? Because the fraction would be 6 and then 19 on the bottom. Yes, good. Did y'all hear what he said? Bless you. It depends on who's being asked where your numbers go. All was the first one, so therefore he's the first one on my ratio. Girls is the last one in the question, so she will be the last one in the ratio. It matters where it goes. Okay, let's do, what if I gave you this chart? <laughs> All right, so if I give you this bit of information, and I want the ratio of cat to dog. Cat to dog. What's the ratio of cat to dog, Sailor? Five, seven. 
five, seven. So I could write it five, seven. How else could I write it? Five over seven or seven over five. No, Ooh. can't swap it around because that would be a dog to cat. How else can I write it? Five, two, Pamela? Five, seven, four. Oh, wait, we already yeah, we did that five, one. Five, five, two, five, two, seven. five, two, seven. Five, two, five, two, seven. We're getting five, two, seven. I only got my two hours. I feel like they were learning something new, not going over something. What if I said total pets to horses? Total pets to horses. Total pets to horses. Over two. How do you get fourteen? I don't remember. He added them all up. Seven plus five is twelve. Plus two is fourteen. So fourteen over two. Fourteen semicolon. Fourteen two two. Oh, you wear your two two today. That is so cute. Oh, hi. Pink is your color. Yes. It's all fun and games until they put a variable in there. Just slow your roll. All right. What if I said total What if I said total two dogs and horses? Two dogs. Okay, he says 10 over 2. What'd you say? Yeah, 10 over 2. Or. What? 9 over 2. 9 over 2? Or would it be 2 over. I don't know. Be careful because it says total and it also says the word and. What does and mean? Doesn't that mean two semicolons? Or no? No. Okay, well then it's combined. Combined. To, and means combined. Me and Moses are going to PE. Who's going to PE? Just Moses? No. Just me? You and. and means us both. Is this okay? So, total. What's the total of animals? Uh, 14. 14. Then I've got to do dogs to horses. Dog, not do, not dogs to horses. Dog and horses. Nine. Nine, seven, and two. So I could also write that as fourteen, 14 over nine and semicolon. got the semicolon. Fourteen, two, two. Fourteen, two, nine.
about your heart? It's your face, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I just tease it. <laughs> don't, cry, please, God, don't cry for me, Argentina. Okay. So what if I said hearts, two squares, What if I asked you for the ratio hearts to squares? Tyler? Six to eight. Six to eight? <sighs> what if I said I want an equivalent ratio? Huh? What? What does the word equivalent mean? Ow, my ears. Equal. Equal. It means equal. Okay? So let me ask you, how would I do that? So what if I wrote it as a fraction? Would that make life easier for you? Yeah. If I said I want an equivalent ratio to 6 over 8. What does equivalent mean for that, though? It means exactly the same thing it did with fractions. That's why I waited to do ratios after fractions. Because if you can find an equivalent fraction, you can find an equivalent ratio. How many of you have ever seen on commercials, like a dental commercial, it says um, one out of two doctors recommend Colgate paste? You've seen that? They didn't just interview two doctors. They've interviewed hundreds of doctors. And if they interviewed, say, 500 doctors, and it's a one in two, how many of them doctors said... 250 said, I recommend Kobe. That's a ratio. You see ratios all the time on TV. I saw one other day about a legal case. We, want, we have won four out of the five legal cases that we have represented. They've not just done five cases. Folks, I'm not going to a lawyer who has just done five cases because they babies. They don't know what in the world they really are doing. So they've done more than five cases, but it's a ratio. It's a ratio. So you can simplify this ratio, but I can always do what to make equivalent ratios or fractions? What? What? Sometimes I can divide. This one I can divide. But I can always multiply, Moses. I can always multiply. Remember when I gave you a fraction like 6 eighths and I said make it equivalent? You can always divide because sometimes there's nothing that can go into both the top and the bottom. But in this one, is there something that can go into both the top and the bottom evenly? Yeah. What? Two. So two goes into six. Three. Two goes into eight. Four. So if I told you that six to eight is the same as three over four, <coughs> do you believe me? They're more likely going to report this number than this number. But watch this. What if I told you I wanted equivalent to seventy-two? What if I wanted equivalent to seventy-two? Am I making eight going to seventy-two or six going to seventy-two? Six. Six, because it's the first number. Good. Good. So what did I do to 6 to make him 72? So what am I going to do to the 8? So what is 8 times 12? So what if they said, what if they said 72 out of 96 teachers taught using fingers? Math teachers. Mm. Would that be the same amount as saying three out of four? No. Yeah. It's, it's a ratio. Yeah. All they've done is simplified that ratio. Three out of four. 
Look at me. I'm a math teacher using fingers. So, you have made equivalent ratios. If you can't do it making it look like this, turn it to a fraction. Because have you ever had to make equivalent fractions? I hope you're shaking your head yes. Because you have. Whether you did it on your homework or not, that's up to you. But I assigned it. We went over it. We taught it. You've done, you should have done it. So, you are now looking at ratios that are equivalent. You understand what a ratio is? Do you understand how it sort of compares to a fraction? Yes. Okay. But the difference with a fraction is they're going to throw it all out there and want you to pick some out of what they've thrown out there. But a ratio, they're going to compare this to this. They're going to compare, okay, watch this. We're going to do a ratio of people wearing tennis shoes to the people wearing non-tennis shoes in this classroom. Well, we may not because it looks like we've got a lot of tennis shoes. Okay? So that went south. We're not going to do that because I think everybody has on tennis shoes. Okay? We're going to do... Nike compared to Vans. So am I going to be, is this going to be comparing to everybody in class? Is everybody going to be on here? No. No, not everybody's going to be on here. So I'm going to do Nike to Vans. Stand up if you have on Nike shoes. Okay, y'all got that number? Stand up if you have on vans. Okay, y'all have that number? All right. What is the ratio? Seven to three. Seven to three. Did that require, is there only three of you that, vote, that were able to be voted for? Yes. Because it would also be written like this. And if it was a fraction, it would say only three of you voted or had was chosen to be, was the total of the classroom. Is that true? No. 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 So that's what makes a fraction and a uh, uh, ratio different. Okay? It's what makes them different. Okay. Um, now, you, yeah. How do you make that equivalent, though? How do I make this equivalent? What could I do? Times it. I could times it by... Anything he said to. One. I can time, well, one ain't going to change it. But I can times it by two. I can times it by... Zero. Fifty. I can times it by 1,626,000. I don't know why we'd want to, but we could. So what if I multiply this by two? Two times seven? Fourteen. Two times three? Guys, you're going to see more people or more ratios, bigger numbers by, if they're looking at doctors, if they're looking at the stock market, and then they're going to make them smaller for our brains to be able to understand it better. Anything compared in the millions or the thousands, it's just so big, but if you compare it to something like seven, three out of seven or seven, you know. It makes things easier. Yes. And then all these numbers. All these numbers. It makes you shut it off. Once you hear the one million, I'm like, well, there's a lot on that one. I can't handle all that. My brain can't hold it. Yeah, I don't even know what it said. That's what but when Xavier they say smaller like. numbers, that is an easier number to grasp. That's what Xavier sounds like whenever he answers questions. Yeah. <laughs> so now, just what we're going to do say. is we're... What we're going to do now is we're going to take the ratios. We're going to change them into rates. How many of your parents go to Sam's to buy in bulk? I don't know. <laughs> to buy in bulk. They go to buy more product, but you have for cheaper prices. And How many of you have ever used stuff. the coupons? <laughs> parents have used coupons. Um... How many of you have ever had to eat like at Sonic or Zaxby's when they're running the special day, like the 50 cent corn dogs? 
Why are we doing these things? I'm sure we can save money. Save money. How many of you would rather get to get the same product? Let's take the 50 cent corn dog. If I went on any day, the corn dogs are $1.19. But special days of the, of the month or whenever they run a special, it's 50 cents. Now, would I rather go and get, they're the same hot corn dog, right? Do you agree? Mm -hmm. If I got one on Tuesday without the sale and Wednesday with the sale, are they the same corn dog? Yes. Yeah. Why? Would you want to spend that dollar nineteen compared to that fifty cents? Would you want to? Does anybody just have so much money they're just throwing it away? No. 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 So what we're gonna do? Even Bill Gates would have tried to save some money. Right. True. Millionaires. Yes, they may give money and they may have money, but they still try not to spend stupidly when they can get a better deal. Everybody likes a better deal. And we used to go to auctions so that we could get better deals on things. Okay? Yard sales. Girl, I'm, I'm all about a good yard sale. Every time that I'm in the car with mom she, and she sees the yard sale, you stop. she stops. My parents, they're traveling now and they're headed down to the Keys. Got a picture Friday of my mom stopping at a yard sale. So, and the only reason, good thing about that is, they save so much money, they're able to travel like that. By my mother not spending so frivolously. So today we're going to talk about rate. What is the better rate? Okay? So I can go to Aldi's and get 12 eggs for 79 cents. Or I can go to Walmart and get 18 eggs for 99 cents. What's the better rate? What's the better rate? So let's look at that. Well, let's look at that. So I can get 12 eggs, that's a dozen, for 79 cents. Or I can go to Walmart and get 18 eggs for 99 cents. I want to find the better rate. I want to find the better rate. Sometimes I buy the big thing of soap 
the 10 pack of, so of Dove soap. Sometimes it's not cheaper to buy it at Sam's than it is to catch it at the dollar store when they give you a $2 coupon, okay? So there's a better rate. Um, I don't know if you've ever watched the show Extreme Couponing on TLC, but boy, those people, they know how much it is. Down to the dime. They will spend $1,000 and pay $8 to leave that building with all that groceries. I saw this thing, I don't know if it's true, but they coupon so much they had to pay them $5. They, they won't pay you most of the time. What they'll do is they make you pick something off the shelf that's worth $5 to replace it. Okay, so we're going to find out how much it is per egg. So, 79 goes into the house. 12 is left out in the rain. How many times would 12 go into 79? Eight times. Eight times? No. No. Six. Six times. Six. So minus what? 72. 72, which leaves me seven. I hope you're, some of you are not writing anything down. Yeah, I'm talking to you. So now what do we do? Add a zero. Add a zero and a decimal. decimal. Actually, this is yeah. change. It would already be a decimal there, so we should probably put a decimal there. Sorry, this is change. So you know if it's, it's already going to have a decimal. Wouldn't it just be six cents per? Well, no, because may, it may round it up to seven. Yeah. Because this may also be six, which we need to know what the thousandths place is going to be. So, so 12 will go into 70. So, uh, five times. Five times. See? See what I'm saying? So minus? 60. So we can stop just for a minute and see. How much is would this be for an egg? About seven cents. About seven cents. It's about seven cents. Poor chicken, that ain't really worth laying them, is it? So, so this one's gonna be about 67 cents. I mean, whoop, about seven cents. No, it's not gonna be 60 cents. About seven cents. Okay, so let's do 99 divided by 18. So how many times will 18 go into 99? Five times. Five? What is five times 18? 90. 90? I agree. Which leaves me what? Nine. Nine. Nine? So then what do I do? Because I already have that decimal of zero. Don't forget that. Oh, it's already cheaper. It's already cheaper. Cause I could go again, drop my zero. Wait, wait, that would round up to, uh, yeah, six. So about how much per egg? One. Five, six, five, One six. cent. One cent. About six, six cents. About six cents. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about the overall thing. About six cents. So it's seven compared to six. So about six cents each. So who's the better rate, Walmart or Aldi's? Walmart. Walmart. Walmart is your better. I think. Whoa. I think probably in, in reality, Aldi's would probably be better. It, and I made that up out of my head, so it happens. But hey, who knows? Walmart may have been running a special this week. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful. I say. I, I, I love shopping local, so I go to Rogers a lot. But if it's not a sale, sometimes Rogers is more expensive than if I went to Walmart. But because I like to shop locally and give my money to the local stores, sometimes two or three cents is not worth me driving to Walmart. Does that make sense? So, let's do another one. What if I told you, let's just do the packs of paper towels. We're gonna do another. So there's three packs of tiles for, let's see, $2.79. And then there's a six pack of tiles for $5.46.
And I want to know who is the better rate. Try that one on your own. Uh, Miss Skinner? Yes. Can't you just double the amount of packs and we'll do? Well, you can, but what if I asked you how much it is per tile? Oh, oh. Which one is it asking, though? I want to know how much it is per tile and who is the better deal. I'm going to get both of them. Some of you are waiting on the answer and you're not trying. the three packs cheaper. Three of you, four of you, five of you, six of you, seven. Okay. How much is it per paper towel? What? 93 cents. 93 cents? How much was six pack worth? How much was it per towel? 91 cents. 91 cent? 
Oh, it's not much of a difference, right? Let's see. How did we find this? Three into 200, $2.79. That's correct. It's very small. Thank you, sir. So three goes, oh, can't go into two. Three goes into 27. Nine. nine. Three goes into nine. Three times. Okay. How we do this one? Six into five dollars. Six. Six, yeah. Well, we know six can't go into five. Six goes into 54. Nine. nine. Evenly. Six goes into six. Forty-one. So who is the better deal? Six, the six pack. Of paper towels. How much are you going to save if you buy three? No, whoa, whoa, whoa. How much are you going to save if you buy this? Two cents. Two cents? Yes. Per towel. Per towel. Two cents per towel. So what if I bought six paper towels? I would save 12 cents. Now, somebody like, well, that ain't even worth doing all the math, Miss Kenner. Well, the thing is, if you buy a car and they, you have the same car here as you do here, it will be worth doing your your rate. Who's hey. got the better rate? The monthly rate? The out the right out deal? It's gonna be a difference. So do you understand that there's a, what the difference between a rate and a ratio is? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks though the same when you do your rate. It looks like a ratio, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I want to also just dive into proportion because you've already been using proportion. So this shouldn't take us but a sec to look at this. So if you look at page 340, 50, 50, no, 352, 352. We're going to look at proportion. You kind of looked at a proportion when we did equivalent fractions. It was um, when they gave you the numerator, but they didn't give you the denominator, and you had to find out what it was. Do you remember when we did this? And you had to find out what that was? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So, that's, that's it. ratio. Remember when we did equivalent fractions, we said that this was your total and this is what you chose. Y'all remember this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so five was your total. This is what you're choosing. We're going to go back and touch more on percentage. Because some of y'all still look at me like I've got a horn on my head when we talk about percentage. When we go back and talk about percentage, we're going to use proportion. And I, it's going to kind of make more sense when we do. So, let's look at this. Look at number one. Look at number one on page 354.
you to turn that into a proportion. What is a proportion? Equal ratios. Two equal ratios, yeah. So, so what would this be as a proportion? Well, oh, could I say it's a one over two? Yes. No, I can't. Because what did I do to three to get two? It's one over two. No. Two over one. Two over one. Yeah. I definitely did. did it make a difference how I wrote that ratio? I sure does. It does. Because these are pencils. And what are these? Erasers. Erasers. So, pencils with six, erasers with three. So, if I divided top and bottom by three, I got two over one, not one over two. Okay? What if I said... What if I said I had seven, seven um, pigs and 11 cows? And I want that ratio written as a proportion. Can I write that as a proportion? Mm -hmm. Tell me something that would be as a proportion, Bradley. 14. Do you agree with 14 over 22? Do y'all agree with that? What is a proportion? Equivalent ratios. That's it. Two equal ratios. Was that hard to find? No. Is that kind of like equivalent fractions? Yes, but easier. Because why is it easier? Because you already knew how to do fractions. That's why I waited to do ratios, rates, and proportions. I remember that. Yeah. Good. That's all it is. Now, they may write it like this. And they want an equivalent ratio. Because what is this? That's just the same thing. It's a ratio. It's the same as 7 to 11. It's the same as 7 over 11. Right? Yes. So, if I can do a fraction, can I do these other ratios the same yes. way? Yeah. So, this would still be 14, 22. Could it be, let me ask you this, could it be, oh, could it be 21 to 33? Yes. Yeah. Sure could. Now, today they're going to give you things like this right here. T over 5 is equal to 28 over 20. Divide by. No, I've you. got to find out what I have done. What did I do to 5 to get 20? Multiply by 4. Multiply by 4. What if I got to multiply by 4 here to get 28? Could I have just said, what did I do to 20 to get 5? Yeah. Yeah, which is? 4. Divided by 4. So 28 divided by 4 is? 7. Seven. Yay. So if this is 7, are these equivalent ratios? Yes. yes. That is a proportion. Do you understand why I waited until after fractions? Yes. Do equivalent ratios. Yeah. Equivalent ratios. When I say the word equivalent ratios, what should pop to your head? Equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions. Proportions. Proportion. That was exactly what I was looking for, Brady. Yeah. Yeah. Proportion. Cool. Questions. 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 Yeah. Questions on proportions, rates, or ratios. Yes. Yes. There you go. Yes. Here you go. <laughs> You can stop. Why did you have to ask that? You, it's 